Man, I don't know what it is, but over the past couple of months, probably since November or so, and I'm in Washington, D.C. right now. I've been traveling for the past couple of months, basically living in New York, as a lot of you may know. But over the past couple of months, like I've gotten so many direct messages and I've talked to so many of my friends and people I don't even know who have contacted me and said, you know what? I'm ready to quit my job. How do I how do I leave my company? How do I kind of take the leap and turn your your hustle into your full time job and passion to begin generating income? And obviously, I'm a founder of a real estate technology company. We went through Y Combinator. And so we've we've generated um, uh, you know some, some success and i had to leave my job and so i i know that it can be really difficult and kind of kind of making that decision and so when people ask me how to make that decision or uh, kind of what they should do um the first thing i say is listen um, i'm only this is just my judgment i only have one perspective and i can't tell you what to do it's a really personal decision but i can share a framework on how i think about it and it's, it's a couple things you need to know when you start a company when you leave your company to start your own company there's a couple things that happen really quickly first you start burning through your cash really fast you have no idea how expensive it is um, and it's no problem though to to spend your savings on things that you're passionate about that's the reason you have it anyway but you want to spend your savings in an efficient and effective way um, and so and so the second thing that happens is you have more time to work on your business, right? You just, have, you just got more time in a day. And so how do you spend that time effectively? Well, it's two things to keep in mind. One is in startups specifically, there's a difference between calendar time and clock time. Calendar time is when you have long periods of time between like major progress or milestones, right? So it could be you're waiting on yourself to make a decision. You're waiting to get an introduction to a potential customer. You're waiting to talk to that customer after you've scheduled that interview. You're waiting on research or results to come in. And during that, during calendar time, progress actually looks like waiting, right? Progress looks like waiting when you're in calendar time. And that's one thing a lot of people don't know, right? Like the fallacy in when should I quit my job to start working on my business is really that you have to quit your job in order to start working on your business and you absolutely don't. There's a lot of things in calendar time that you can do that you don't need eight hours to do. You can do over your lunch break. You can schedule meetings with people with potential customers over your lunch break. You can wait on results to come in from a research study over your lunch break. You can do customer development over your lunch break or at night before you go to work. So you don't have to quit your job to do that. Then you have, uh, you have clock time where every single hour that you spend on your business gets you one unit closer to your goal. That's maybe when you're, you're ac actively marketing, you're actively selling, you're actively building products that's when you need more time and you just need more hours in a day and the more time you spend on the business the more progress you're going to make the quicker you're going to get to your goal the faster you make money the the faster you kind of expand your contribution to the world and you can get rich <laughs> or you can have this great contribution right that's clock time the problem is that a lot of people quit their job when they're in calendar time and they are at home twiddling their thumbs the <laughs> the bad idea in that is that you have real responsibilities. Like you have a wife, a husband, you got kids who need clothes and you got a shop like, who likes to shop. And like, you have all this stuff going on. And so you need to be responsible and take affordable risks. That's what I did. I took affordable risk. It's not that I took more risks than you. I just took an affordable risk and I structured my day and my business in a way to I validated some assumptions, I de-risked my business, and I understood the difference between calendar time and clock time. So uh, hopefully this was helpful to you. And if you want to talk to me, if you want to chat, um, just you know, every Saturday or so, I block off about an hour in my day and I talk to people just about startups and like the life, uh, like my life and how it's changed since I've started a company. So if you want to just chat about that, uh, I would love to, to sit and talk to you and really give you some encouragement and help you think about the right way. Maybe not the right way. I'm a little hesitant to say that, but the way I went about it. 
So one thing about these videos that I make and just all of my advice, just keep in mind that I'm only one person. It's your life. You have to make your own decision. And this is a really personal choice that you have to make. Right? Um, so listen to what I have to say, listen to what everyone has to say, but never do what they say just because they say it. At the end of the day, it's your business, it's your life, and it's really personal. And forget, screw everyone who may not like your idea, or may not think your idea is good. The only people who matter are the people who, who, who pay you money, who give you money, customers, right? Uh, you know, optimize for customers. Don't optimize for media or what your friends or family have to say. The reality is they don't know anyway. You know your market better than anyone else. You have the right product instincts, right? I just want to give you some encouragement to say, get out there, do it. If you want to talk about it, then just, just like message in the comment section, hey, l let's talk. Um, because I don't, I get so many DMs now, I don't often check them. So if you would just message and they put a message in the comments to say, hey, Hassan, I would like to talk to you, that I'll be more than willing to set aside a 15 minute block on a Saturday when I'm back with my lovely wife in the Washington DC area. So I uh, look forward to chatting with you soon and hope, hopefully this was helpful. And if it was, feel free to share it with people because this is one of the things that I'm, I wanna do to share my experience with folks and, and, and elevate the brand of Smart Alto. So um, look forward to talking to you soon, thanks.